Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. I want to do a nail video today. I personally love doing my own nails, the lashes, pierce my own ears. I mean, <laughs> I try to do as much as I can myself. I don't know, I just enjoy it. Nails has definitely been one of those things and lately I've been loving the, it's like the gel -X method where you have a complete full nail form and you use a base coat or a nail glue of sorts to kind of cure it and secure it onto your natural nail instead of using like a nail glue. And this way, nails, this with this method, the nails last me a very long time. I would say like three, three weeks minimum. Sometimes one might pop off, so that might be an issue. Um, but for the most part, this method is probably the best lasting method for me. So I continue to use it and there's just so many things that you can do when it comes to like DIY nails. I mean, you can paint them whatever color you want, you can design them whatever color you want, you can use nail stickers, you can use gemstones. So my 30th birthday is coming up. I can't believe I'm going to be 30 in March 12th. It's already March, so it's my birthday month. And I figured I would do like a glitzy glam type nail look. I found this picture on Pinterest and definitely gave me some major inspiration. So let me show you guys. It wasn't a Pinterest photo. It was actually a Amazon customer review. This one girl did her own nails and she had like the cutest designs ever. So these right here, I just thought they were so cute. It has like little rhinestones around the nails. It got ombre and then it has the little bow, rhinestone bow on it. So I picked up some things off of Amazon and Double Dip Nails sent me a bunch of things. So this video is in collaboration with Double Dip Nails. They just sent these over for me to try out and thought I would give them a try because I personally love the Gel X method. So I'll go through everything that they sent me and then get right into it because I'm really excited to do my own nails. So first things first is the Bellavina Magic Gel Tips. And I love that these are short almond nails. It's kind of hard to come across short almond nails. They come in like this box right here and they have a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of each. And so far they seem like they'll be good nails. They have like a pretty decent apex and curve to them. They're very thin at the cuticle. They have a decent bend while still being sturdy at the tip. I'll give them a try and see how I like them. You're getting 600 pieces and it's $29.99. I'll leave any coupon codes and links that you guys can shop down below. I just don't remember them off the top of my head. They also sent over this nail lamp and I feel like a nail lamp like this is very important. Instead of having to kind of figure out a way to fit your entire nail under uh, like a traditional lamp, so it's this guy right here, and I believe it is touch. So you touch it, I don't know if it's here or here, and it lights up. That way you don't have to like press any buttons, just makes it so much easier. So I'm gonna give this a try, because usually I use the Beatles one. And then because this is the Gel-X method, you're gonna need a base coat of sorts. So they have their premium jelly liquid kit here. I have used traditional gel base coat in the past, and it's worked well for me. But if you are brand new, or you just wanna try something new, then it's nice that they have this. I like this kit because it kind of has everything that you need. So it has the protein bond, adhesive primer, the press-on glue gel, which is kind of like a base coat of sorts, and then it has a no wipe top coat. So this kit has literally everything that you need and it's gonna last you a while. This is new to the site, also the Bellavina brand, and it retails for $39.99, so pretty good deal considering other alternatives out there. They also sent over their regular base coat and no wipe top coat, as well as some nail polishes. And the nice thing about their nail polishes is that they come in like a double double situation like so. So one of them is a gel. The white bottle is a, the gel color and then the other one is a regular nail polish color so that you can use one, the gel for your nails and your hands and then the regular nail polish for your toes making it so much easier. So I thought that was cool and they're just like different hues of pink kind of situation. So I think these colors will be perfect for the look that I'm trying to go for. And then last but not least, it's just, um, like accessories and stuff. So they do sell a Manny Petty removal kit. Literally everything that you need to get started comes in the kit, including the, including these little, um, almost like felt pads of sorts, thin pads that you soak in isopropyl alcohol, the finger covers. I honestly don't know what the correct terms for these are, um, but it, this kit has everything that you need. And they have ones for toes and then ones for your actual nails. Also sent some stickers, some foil stickers, and then a bunch of butterfly accessories for the nails. Just a bunch of different kinds of little mini itty bitty butterflies. So this, this would be super fun for like a springtime nail look. Then we have some gold 
foil butterfly stickers and then the tweezers to help place them on the nail as well as some little rhinestones. This is actually gonna come in useful for the look that I'm trying to do for the 30th birthday, like the one that I showed you. But before I get started, let me also show you some of the rhinestone decals and things, de decals, decals, what? Things that I got off of Amazon, hold on. This is not all in order, but I placed it all in this one box just to keep it nice and safe. So the first thing that I got was, I got a few things. I got rhinestones in different sizes off of Amazon. I also got nail art rhinestone glue and it came with like a wax pen just because I needed a nail glue even though the rhinestones come with a wax pen and an applicator it didn't come with a glue so I bought the glue and then the glue came with its own wax pen and things like that and then I also got these rhinestone bows right here. I just thought they were so cute. There are six big ones and then 18 like little ones in different tones you can get gold there's silver there's so many different kinds on amazon these are just the ones that i picked up i think i'm gonna use the smaller ones and we will see let me set everything up size out my nails and then just get started Hey guys, it's been a few hours at this point. Um, I definitely have my work cut out for me with this nail look here just because it's so meticulous from like the ombre and then placing the rhinestones. But here's one hand right here. I actually love how it came out. Super cute. I'm just hoping none of them fall off. I used this Beatles rhinestone glue here and it comes with like two brushes and I brush some glue around, place the rhinestones one by one as well as the bow and then cured it. I'm not sure if you're supposed to cure it or not, but I cured it. And then I took a top coat and placed a top coat on top. So hopefully it like really does not move anywhere. I'm not crazy about how I did the ombre. I tried a few different methods. Um, and the sponge method just always works best for me. It's not like clean and beautiful like a professional would do, but you know, it works. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I actually like how I did this hand better than this hand. Fig practice definitely makes perfect. I haven't done this hand yet just because I got stuff to do and this is just taking way too long so I'll finish this later but super cute. The rhinestones I got on Amazon. I'll link the bow rhinestones down below and um, I did end up actually filing the nail forms just because they were a little bit too curved for my liking. Like the longer they got the more curved they went and then they were still a little bit too long even though this is short, al uh, it says short almond they're still a little bit too long. So I did end up filing them, so that took some time as well. The nail polish colors are really pretty. I used this 574 from Bellavina. I pronounce it Bellavina 
for the base. And then I applied some of the 585 on a sponge. I just have like a makeup sponge that I don't use. And then kind of went in with one coat, cured it, went in with another coat, cured it. There are definitely some great videos online if you wanna do ombre nails. This is not it. <laughs> and then the nail lamp, it's, I still honestly prefer the Beatles nail lamp to this one just because the Beatles one allows me to kind of fit more fingers under there, whereas this one, it's a little bit tricky. It's still doable and it's good for, for this method, but because I've used the Beatles one and I have experience with that, I just prefer that one, but this one is good. And everything else seems like it works great. Seems like the nails are on very well. Um, someone recommended in one of my comments to do, I forgot what it's called, but it has a name. It's where you take the glue gel right here and you apply it onto your natural nails and cure it for 30 seconds. And then you take your nail form, apply some of that glue gel inside, place it on top of the nail, and then cure, continue to cure it. This way you don't get like that whole heat situation. Or, um, you know how your nail has like the burning sensation from, that has a name as well. I just can't think of it right now. Um, so that prevents that because that is something that would happen to me because I would use so much glue to kind of cover in the gaps in between my natural nail and the apex of the nail form. So thank you to whoever recommended that. It's been a lifesaver. This is my bedazzled birthday nails here. I'm just hoping they last until March 12th. It is March 4th, so I just need them to last like a week or so and I'll be fine. But usually with this method, the nails do, like the Jolix method, they last me like two, three, wait, two to four weeks. Um, they probably could last longer, but I usually like to switch out my nails, kind of like my lashes. So. I will link everything down below. And thank you to Double Dip Nails for sending all of these over. I'm excited to do even more nail looks in the future. Again, thanks for watching and see you guys in future videos. Bye.